after looking through all the bar carts on the market, I found that none of them really suited my needs as a bartender. I am standing in front of the Sidecar, a collaboration that I did with Moore & Giles, the Virginia-based leather company that I've been working with for the last five years. You'll notice a lot of sort of influence from knives. This is a single piece of stainless steel that goes from uh, this side all the way across to the other side. Vegetable tanned leather that kind of lines this armbar gives you some nice grip. On the work surface itself, uh, we actually used uh, like butcher block finish with a, a little reservoir that goes all around. The cart is outfitted with uh, brass wheels that were uh, made for grand pianos. You can put up to 30 or 40 glasses in here. So one of the things uh, about so many bar carts in the market right now is they're really only made to make two or three drinks and then you have to bring it back to the bar to replenish it. So this is made to make a lot of drinks. We have two storage areas. You can turn this cart around um, depending on which side you want to serve on. And the idea here is that when you're making multiple drinks, after you've shaken or stirred the drink, that ice needs to go somewhere. So what I would do is uh, line this bin with uh, plastic, something uh, that is waterproof, and I would actually be able to dump my ice or use this as a garbage can. And then I have a, a little drawer. Most bar carts are completely open. So in this bar cart, the, the front of it is kind of closed. The, the work side of it, the business side of it for me is open, so I have access to all these different tools and whatnot that I don't want my guests to see. The exciting thing about, about this sort of furniture is that when you get it, it's beautiful, but the more you use it, it sort of burnishes and ages and sort of tempers with time. There you have a traditional sidecar served on a modern sidecar.